Venn diagram for kids. Here we have two very similar pictures of a cat. Let's find the differences. The first difference is that the cat on the left has its eyes closed, while the cat on the right has its eyes open. The second difference is that the cat on the left has a tennis ball, and the cat on the right does not. Let's take a closer look. What else is different? The tails are pointing in different directions. So we can see that these cats have similar features and different. So how can we organize similarities and differences? We need to use a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram uses circles that overlap to show how things are similar and different. Let's compare this man and woman using a Venn diagram. To make a Venn diagram, we use two circles that overlap. The red circle is for the man, and the yellow circle is for the woman. The overlapping part is where we write the similarities. Let's find the similarities and differences using a Venn diagram. The man has black hair, which goes in the red circle. The woman has brown hair, which goes in the yellow circle. The man has short hair. The woman has long hair. The man has no glasses. The woman has glasses. He is wearing a red t-shirt. She is wearing a yellow t-shirt. The man is wearing blue jeans. The woman is wearing blue jeans. They are both wearing blue jeans, which is similar, so it goes in the overlapping part. The man is wearing white shoes. The woman is wearing white shoes. White shoes is a similarity, so it goes in the overlapping section. We found all the similarities and differences and used a Venn diagram to keep track. A Venn diagram makes it very easy to see the similarities and differences. In this example, we have a whole bunch of animals. Some of them live on land, some of them live in water, and some live in both. Let's create a Venn diagram. The red circle has animals who live on land. The yellow circle has animals who live in water. The overlapping part is for animals who live on land and water. Whales live in water, so they go on the yellow circle. Giraffes live on land so they go in the red circle. Foxes live on land, so they also go in the red circle. Snakes can live in both water and land, so they go in the overlapping part. Lions live on land, so they go in the red circle. Dolphins live in water, so they go in the yellow circle. Crocodiles live on land and water, so they go in the overlapping area. Sharks live in water. Turtles can live in both. Octopus lives in the water. Elephant lives on land. Frogs can live in both, so they go in the overlapping part. Fish live in water, so it goes in the yellow circle. Dogs live on land, so they go in the red circle. We've sorted all the animals using a Venn diagram. The animals that live on land are in the red circle. The animals that live in water are in the yellow circle. And the animals that can live in both are in the overlapping part. Let's take a look at these shapes. We have a bunch of colors. We have red, pink, green, blue, yellow, black. We also have a lot of different shapes. Squares, rectangles, stars, triangles, circles. Let's try to organize them based on color and squares. We use a Venn diagram. On the left, we will have red shapes. On the right, we will have squares. The overlapping part will have red squares. This square is not red, so it goes in the right circle with the squares. This is a square that is also red, 
so it goes in the overlapping section. The red circle is not a square, so it goes in the left circle with the red shapes. This square is green, not red, so it goes in the right circle. This black square is not red, so it goes in the right circle with the squares. This is a yellow square, so it goes in the right circle. The red star is not a square, so it goes in the left circle. This big square is red, so it goes in the overlapping section. This blue square is not red, so it goes in the right circle. We have a red triangle. A triangle is not a square, so it goes in the left circle. This is a red rectangle. It is not a square, so it goes in the left circle, where the red shapes go. So we use the Venn diagram to organize the red shapes, the squares, and the ones that are both. Here we have a list of numbers from 0 to 9. If you look closely, they all have different shapes. Some of them have straight lines, some of them curved, and some have both. Let's use a Venn diagram to compare. We draw two circles that overlap. The left circle has numbers that are made with only curved lines. The right circle has numbers that are made with only straight lines. The overlapping part is for numbers that have both curved lines and straight lines. Zero is made with a curved line, so it goes in the left circle with the curved numbers. One is a straight line, so it goes in the right circle. Two is drawn with a curved line and a straight line, so it goes in the overlapping part. Three has no straight lines, so it goes in the left circle. Four is written with straight lines, so it goes in the right circle with the straight numbers. Five is drawn with two straight lines and a curved line, so it goes in the overlapping part. Six is made of a curved line, so it goes in the left circle. Seven is drawn using straight lines, so it goes in the right circle. Eight only has curved lines, so it goes in the left circle with the curved numbers. Nine has no straight lines, so it goes in the left circle. Now we've organized the numbers with curved numbers, straight numbers, and numbers that are made with both curved lines and straight lines. So now you know how Venn diagrams work. There are circles that overlap to show you how things are similar and how things are different. The similarities always go in the overlapping part. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.